I have a toxic relationship. You know that kind of toxic relationship where your boyfriend is beating you, but he buys you, he, he gifts you every now and then. That is the kind of relationship I am with. <laughs> All right, so this might be a cruise vlog, but you know, as I always say, inside the cruise, there is seriousness. It's left for you to pick the cruise and leave. Uh, it's left for you to pick the seriousness and leave the cruise. It's left for you to play with the cruise and take the seriousness. I don't know if I'm sounding confusing, but it is what it is. Now, see, I have a toxic relationship with one app on my phone. You know that kind of toxic relationship where your boyfriend is beating you, but he buys you, he, he gifts you every now and then. Valentine, he will send you gifts. Your birthday, we send you gifts. Oh, God forbid, this cannot be. If I if my if I hear my sister in such a in such a relationship, God knows, I will beat you at first. But you know that you know that kind of toxic relationship I'm trying to explain. That is the kind of relationship I am with this app on my phone, and I honestly believe that it's not only me. I know most of you who will be watching this video have a toxic relationship with this same app, and this app is no other one than TikTok. Like I don't understand how that thing is very how that thing is how the app is just so addictive. Like to enter into the app is very easy, but leaving that app is a problem because let me just scroll once. You will see something else. You'll be like, ah, this thing is educative, or let me learn from it. Let me just scroll once. You will see comedy. Ah, let me just watch it and laugh. Let me just scroll one. You will see another thing. Let me just scroll one. You will see Apostle Femi Lazarus. Ah, let me just listen to this one. Let me just scroll once. You ah, like I don't I don't understand how, how I got into this toxic relationship. And a lot of you viewing this video don't know how you got into this toxic relationship as well. <laughs> but then how do we break out of this toxic relationship? I don't know, but I'll give a few tips, <laughs> which I'm trying to work on myself, and most of them have been proven to be okay. Now, going on TikTok, on some phone, there is what we there is what we call sleep time on some phones. Now, you can set sleep time for a particular app so that whether or not you want to be on that app, if the time comes, you automatically be taken away from that app. But then we get coconut head. Now we set the sleep time, Abe. We will still go on set time so that we'll go and enjoy what you would do. So the only way, <laughs> the only way for you to escape this toxic relationship with TikTok is by self-determination. Knowing what you want to do part-time and knowing what you want to use your time for. If you feel TikTok is what you want to use your time for, my dear, we go ahead and TikTok. But if there is something else that is important for us to use our time for, then you must learn how to intentionally remove that app and go and do what you want to do. But then it is what it is. As I finish this video, I will go into TikTok. There is nothing you can tell me and there is nothing you can drag me about. I will still go and enter inside TikTok. But until then... Tell me how you are addicted to TikTok in the comment section. Tell me how you are trying to break through from the addiction. And this is the end of this video. Till the next time, keep on supporting me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video. Drop a comment and share with somebody else. Thank you. Bye.